Once Upon a Dream. Today we have a book named Once Upon a Dream Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a dream, in a land far away, there was a magical kingdom filled with wondrous creatures, enchanted forests, and sparkling waterfalls. In this kingdom there lived a young boy named Timmy, who loved to explore and go on adventures. Every night before bed, Timmy's parents would read him a bedtime story, and he would drift off to sleep with dreams of far-off lands and daring deeds. But tonight was different. Timmy's parents were away, and he was all alone in his room. As he lay in bed, Timmy couldn't help but feel a little scared. The room seemed darker than usual, and every creak and rustle made him jump. He pulled the covers up to his chin and closed his eyes, hoping to fall asleep quickly. But as hard as he tried, sleep wouldn't come. He tossed and turned, thinking of all the spooky creatures that might be lurking in the shadows. Just as he was about to give up and call out for his parents, he heard a soft, gentle voice. Hello, Timmy, the voice whispered. Don't be afraid. I'm here to help you fall asleep. Timmy sat up, rubbing his eyes. He looked around the room but saw no one. Who's there? he asked. I'm a dream fairy, the voice replied. I heard you were having trouble sleeping, so I thought I'd pay you a visit. Would you like to hear a story? Timmy nodded eagerly. Yes, please, he said. Very well, said the dream fairy. Close your eyes and listen carefully. Once upon a dream, there was a little boy named Timmy, just like you. He loved to explore and go on adventures, but sometimes he felt a little scared, especially at bedtime. But one night, he had a magical dream that changed everything. Timmy settled back into his pillows and listened as the dream fairy began to spin a tale. In the dream, Timmy found himself in a beautiful forest filled with towering trees and glittering stars. As he walked through the forest, he heard the sound of soft music, and soon he came upon a clearing. There, in the center of the clearing, was a magnificent castle with turrets and towers that stretched up into the sky. Timmy approached the castle, feeling a little nervous. But as he got closer, he saw that the castle was filled with light and warmth, and he knew he had nothing to fear. He pushed open the door and stepped inside. Inside the castle, Timmy found a grand hall filled with all his favorite things. There were books and toys and games, and all around him, he could see children playing and laughing. Timmy joined in the fun, and soon he was having the time of his life. But then, a soft voice called out to him. Timmy, it said. Come with me. Timmy turned to see a kind and gentle fairy, with wings that sparkled like diamonds. She took his hand and led him down a long hallway, filled with doors on either side. These are the doors to your dreams, she said. Choose one, and it will take you on a magical adventure. Timmy looked at all the doors, feeling a little overwhelmed. There were so many to choose from, but then he spotted a door with a shining star on it, and he knew that was the one he wanted. He opened the door and stepped inside. Inside the door, Timmy found himself in a glittering world of stars and moonbeams. He looked up and saw a giant, friendly face smiling down at him from the sky. It was the face of the moon, and it spoke to him in a soft and soothing voice. 
Hello, Timmy, said the moon. I'm so glad you came to visit me. I have a special gift for you. Timmy looked around, wondering what the gift could be. Then he saw a little bird fluttering nearby. The bird had a tiny crown on its head, and it flew over to Timmy, perching on his shoulder. This is your dream bird, said the moon. It will always be with you, guiding and protecting you on your adventures. Timmy smiled, feeling a warm and happy feeling in his chest. He stroked the bird's feathers, feeling a connection to it that he couldn't quite explain. Thank you, he said to the moon. This is the best dream ever. The moon smiled down at him. You're always welcome here, Timmy. Uh, it said. Whenever you need a friend or an adventure, just come and visit me. I'll be waiting. Timmy woke up feeling a sense of peace and joy that he'd never felt before. He looked around his room, feeling safe and comforted by the familiar objects he saw. He realized that the dream had given him a new sense of courage and bravery. He knew that he could face anything, as long as he had his dream bird by his thigh. The dream fairy's voice faded away, and Timmy realized that he was no longer alone in his room. His parents had come home, and they were standing in the doorway looking at him with love and concern. Are you okay, sweetie? his mother asked. Timmy nodded, feeling a smile spreading across his face. I had the best dream ever, he said. I can't wait to go on more adventures with my dream bird. His parents smiled, relieved that he was no longer scared. They hugged him and tucked him in, and Timmy fell asleep with a happy heart. The dream fairy smiled, watching over him as he slept. She knew that Timmy would have many more adventures in his dreams, and that each one would give him the courage and strength he needed to face the world. And so, dear children, if you ever have trouble falling asleep, just close your eyes and imagine the world of dream. There, you can be anything you want to be and go anywhere you want to go. And with your own dream bird by your side, you'll never be afraid. Sweet Dreams the children listening to the story smiled and yawned, feeling the magic of the dream world surrounding them. They snuggled deeper into their blankets, feeling their eyelids getting heavier and heavier. As they drifted off to sleep, the dream fairy appeared to them once again. She flew around the room, sprinkling fairy dust over the sleeping children, filling their dreams with happy adventures and gentle magic. In one child's dream, she visited a kingdom made of candy, where she got to ride on a carousel made of lollipops and play with giant gummy bears. In another child's dream, she was a brave knight, riding a flying dragon and rescuing princesses from towers. And in another child's dream, she met a talking rabbit who took her on a journey through a magical garden, where she danced with fairies and played hide and seek with elves. The dream fairy continued to flit around the room, weaving her magic and making sure that each child had a wonderful and restful night's sleep. And when the morning came, the children woke up feeling refreshed and full of energy, ready to take on whatever adventures the day might bring. They didn't remember all the details of their dreams, but they knew that they had been on amazing adventures and had felt the love and warmth of the dream world. As they got up and went about their day, they felt a sense of wonder and magic in the world around them. They knew that, even though they couldn't see the dream fairy, she was always there, watching over them and protecting them, just like their own personal guardian angel. And whenever they had trouble falling asleep at night, they just closed their eyes and imagined the world of dreams, knowing that their dream bird would be there to guide and protect them. They knew that they could be anything they wanted to be in their dreams, and that the possibilities were endless. 
And so, dear children, always remember to let your imagination take you on wonderful adventures in your dream. The dream world is a magical and beautiful place filled with love, wonder, and endless possibilities. Sweet dreams and sleep well. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.